Good afternoon, everyone. This is Tractor Man 44. Hey, this is a little video from uh, Tractor Man 44's workshop to uh, to Old Sneelock's workshop. Um, you know, we come across some odd things, especially uh, Old Sneelock. He specializes in, in old tools and things like that and old machinery, and I kind of stumble across a few odd things, you know, from time to time. So uh, this is just a quick little video to show Old Sneelock here uh, something to pick his brain a little bit and um, see if he can come up with a suggestion as to what it is. Now, there is some information I could probably do a little research on, but uh, why do research when I got somebody with a cranial capacity such as old Sneedlock that has seen a heck of a lot of this stuff, much more than I have to a great extent. But I'm, uh, I'm gonna show a little bit uh, of this thing that I just picked up here not too long ago. When you walk up on it, it looks like any other old machine. Uh, nothing real formidable, you know, to look at. Uh, it, it's got a, an eccentric. You look down here, you can see there's a, like a crankshaft here. When you rotate this wheel around and around, that crankshaft is going to go around and then convert that rotating motion to a uh, vertical uh, up and down. And obviously there's some things missing out of here. I have no idea what would go in there, what this thing would be for. But um, give a little bit more particulars on it. It's got an AC 100 and 110 volt motor, uh, General Electric, quarter horsepower, vanilla flavored, 725 RPM, uh, nothing crazy. But uh, this is where it gets a little cool. The, I apologize for the video quality here. The table, it's a tilt table. You can see here by my uh, by thumb, there's, a, uh, there's an indicator and it goes from zero to 45 degrees apart, according to what I can tell. And there's some other adjustments up underneath inside there. Um, and down here, if we look at the tag, the tag says Federal Machinery Sales Company, Chicago, Illinois. And this tag here says J&B, J&B is all it says, manufactured by Laporte Machine and Tool Company, Incorporated, Laporte, Indiana, USA. I am certain that the motor runs. Uh, there's no real... Well, you might not know. I just turned it upside down. <laughs> but at any rate, it's got an old, old style switch on it right here. Uh, that's obviously broken. Uh, I did not break it. It, it was not... Uh, was not intact when I brought it home. I could just jump that out and plug it in, but there's no doubt about it that the motor's going to run. But at any rate, if, uh, if old Sneelock or anybody else out there has got any in inclination to make a suggestion, I would be tickled to death. When I turned it upside down a second ago, I did notice uh, one thing. Um, in addition to it going up and down over here on this center, on this round, uh, this round accessory, look at this little hole that's filed in here or cut in here somehow or another. I think it was uh, machined in there and it, whatever rubbing on it, you know, it's kind of elongated it out. But on the other end of this slide mechanism is another thing that goes up and down. It looks like there's a uh, clamp, clamping device. Boy, I, this is a horrible video. There's a clamping device so you can put something inside of here and it would also go up and down at the same time. You can see the ways down here just sticking out underneath this. So, and they're adjustable. So uh, it's actually a pretty neat machine. I just got to figure out what to do with it. So, once again, old Sneelock, if you got any indication, any idea, any suggestion, please feel free to let me know. Anybody else out there, same thing. Doesn't look like much, but there is a, there's a lot of weight to that little guy. Uh, it's uncomfortable for me to pick up and put on the workbench, so I'm saying it's going to go roughly uh, 85 to 100 pounds, and uh, it is definitely, uh, definitely heavy. So anyway, old Sneelock, if you happen to be paying attention there, um, jump in there, take a look, see, and <laughs> give me your two cents worth. Uh, being in the in the in the foundry business and and working around um, uh, mechanization uh, repair and 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 stuff over your career, you probably have stumbled into a lot more of this kind of stuff than what I what I have. Uh, this came from a, an old buddy of mine that unfortunately passed away a little while back, and uh, his son you know didn't want it and. Uh, uh, Neither one of us could figure out exactly what it was. So uh, he, he went ahead and passed it on to me. And I, I promise I'll do something with it. I just don't know what yet. So any suggestions would be welcome. So anyway, hey man, this is Tracker Man 44, and I am out of here.